Um, but what I want to do in order to bake, and I have to sort of clean that up a little bit, is just I need to explode the mesh. So uh, I want to make sure that all this is kind of grouped, which at the moment I it's not because I've got these sections here and the buttons. So both of those need to go into my high poly. Really high poly. And I've also got this and this. Okay, so that's all now in its one group. I'm going to select everything and just freeze transformations, delete history. And I'm just going to save that again. Now I made those mod modifications. Like so. And then I'm just going to hide that for a moment. And then Okay, so that's not a part of my low poly. Let's just turn that off for a second. So if I select that needs to be a part of my low poly, that's for sure. So that, I'm going to right click and add that selected objects. So then it's all part of there. And it's not part of this group. Nothing seems to be a part of that group, so I'm just going to regroup. Um, okay, so there, there, and there. Let's just middle mouse and drag. And that group seems to be that. So now we've got the low poly in the group. So I've got a uh, low poly. What are you? And then let's just. Bring everything back. Okay, that's the buttons. Low poly buttons. Got myself all confused. All right, so we've got my low poly here ready to go. Um, but what I want to do is basically explode the mesh so that we can bake and nothing kind of gets affected. So I'm going to take all these elements, my low poly, and so that I'm just going to lift up. And I wanted to make sure that the only translations at the beginning were at zero. Um, then this I want to separate. So then I can pull that out. That out this down and I'll leave those where they are and then I can take this and move it up and then I probably can get away with leaving those these buttons where they are. So there's my low poly which is now separated out. Then I can come in and turn my high poly on and do the same. So I can take this but what I want to do is take that, take this value, control C and paste it into this value. Or this thing. So then that moves up to the exact same position. Um, take this front, I want to separate. And then with the front panel, I actually want to rejoin these three because I'm going to bake these three onto it. So I'm going to combine those back up and then select this, copy its translation information, and then paste. So then it shares the same space. The back. Copy, paste. So we're essentially, we're exploding the mesh out in, so that when we bake, it doesn't negatively affect things um, that are nearby. And I'll show you what that means in a moment. So with this, I want that to go up. So what am I baking onto this plane, basically, with this bit? So I want to take this, so definitely that. And that also takes those buttons. So I want one, two, three, and four to also go up to that same height, because that will all get baked onto this, this mesh. Those buttons are kind of built in the way that I ended up doing it, but that's fine. So then we've got that, and this, for some reason, is out of alignment. Uh, it's a bit strange. Don't quite understand how or when or why, but let's just realign my low poly with it. 
going to just snap holding down V. Not quite. There you go. Everything's slightly bigger as well, which I'm not too pleased about. Um, and that is essentially because of the way in which I did this low poly. Um, because I use the other uh, mesh, the construction mesh, that when it gets smooth, it does sort of shrink in size a little bit. So that's kind of why. So I can just sort of bring that in. Ooh, not in the move tool though, in the scale, just to kind of get that a bit closer. If I want to just try and get that a bit slightly better bake on that. Ooh, no, I want to shrink the low poly down. So move that to the bottom and then I'm doing it from this green tab, not move, sorry. So it will do it on both axes apart from the height. Like so. So that will hopefully make for a better bake. I'm just doing this by eye at the moment, as you can probably tell. This is relatively close. Uh, so yeah, that will do for now, I think. Um, so yeah, I've exploded the bake. So now we've got our low poly and our high poly. So, okay, for some reason that's not in the high poly one, so let's just add selected objects. So high and low. And I just want to remove that. I'm just going to hide that for now because I don't want to take that out. So low and high. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is just hide that for a moment, take all my high and export this out. So file, export selection wherever you may have gone and then i've got radio hb explode so high bake explode bake there save okay i'm just going to overwrite that and then save that's saved out and then i want to just turn that off turn the low poly on select everything and then File and export selection and as the low poly bake. Okay, smoother boots, yep, tangent by normals, yep, okay, export and embed no embed media turn on for the high poly so it brings in the colour values as well. So that's baked, or not baked, sorry, that's saved out. So the next thing I want to do is open up Marmoset. And then I want to find those files and just drag and drop them into this menu or the scene here. There we go. So they've come in, we can see, and it's brought the, the color, color information in there as well. 